Dr. Pekosh, first of all, should people get tested for antibodies? Does they actually tell us whether you, you know you have a chance of being reinfected or not? Yeah, I mean, this is an important point. Um, right now, the antibody testing, uh, you know, tells you that if you have been exposed to the virus previously, um, it doesn't tell you if you'd be protected from reinfection yet. Um, everybody wants to know that data. There are lots of studies that are in place right now trying to figure out how these tests relate to being protected from infection. But right now, it's, you have to be clear that if you're tested for antibodies, all that tells you is that you were exposed before. It doesn't really tell you that you have some level of protection or safety going back into the uh, uh, environment in terms of uh, uh, protection from the virus. And is this because of false negatives and false positives, or is it just because we don't know the level of immunity we get? And if we don't know how long we're immune, if at all, f to, to this virus, when do we find out? Yeah, I think it's a combination of both of those. Um, there are a myriad of tests that are available out there, and they test for very different types of antibodies. So um, unless you know something very detailed about the test that you're uh, uh, getting done, uh, you won't be able to put it in the right context when it comes to immunity or protection from infection. And I think the issue when it comes to protection from infection is, you know, we just need time because we have to follow the people who were infected to see if they get reinfected. Um, and that is something that, again, it just takes time for us to, to have to wait to see the level of reinfection in these people. And once we know that, then we can go back and and check the blood of these people and say, oh, here are the things that uh, uh, seem to correlate with uh, protection from reinfection. Here are the things that, are, that don't. Are, are we working on that all together on a global level, or is it each country for themselves? And if we're waiting for people to possibly be reinfected, could it take at least another six months to really understand the immunity to this virus? Uh, yeah, I think uh, many of the efforts for checking for antibodies are really done at the local level these days. Um, you know, the epidemic has been so different when it comes to city to city and country to country in terms of, you know, oftentimes number of cases and severity of disease. So I think each country is trying to do, in each locality, is trying to do their own level of testing uh, just to uh, get a good picture of what's happening there. Um, you know, I think in the future, uh, there has been some really good co co cooperation across um, uh, different uh, institutions and across different countries to try to get a sense of making sure that people are doing the same types of tests and making the same inferences. Um, but again, mu much of what's going on is going to be done at the local level uh, because uh, the epidemic has been a bit different in terms of um, uh, city to city variation, state to state variation, and even country to country variation. Uh, some governments and countries say wear a mask at all times. Other aren't really bothered by it. How do we, what is the mask useful for? So it, it's important to note that the, the mask is most useful for um, if you're infected and if you're, uh, to prevent you from spreading uh, the virus to other people. Um, and it's because that this COVID-19 has such a high percentage of cases that um, either don't show serious symptoms, um, and it's also clear that the virus can be spread before you show symptoms. So many countries have taken the idea of wearing masks to try to target that portion of the population, the people that are infected but don't know it and aren't showing symptoms. And by limiting those people from the, the spread of virus from those people, one can help flatten the curve when it comes to the total number of cases. Um, masks are only one part of your protection. They shouldn't be viewed as sort of a panacea, as a, if I have a mask on, I'll be safe completely from, from infection. They're just one thing of several that you have to do to protect yourself from, from the COVID-19 virus.